Well, good morning. It is December 1st, and thus Vlogmas has begun. Um, it's been chaos this morning a little bit. <sighs> uh, I got majorly spit up on and had to change the baby two times. Um, three times. Three times. Yeah, I changed it three times. There were three outfit changes before 6 a.m. So, uh, yuck. It is 30 degrees outside. So, uh, I have the fireplace on. And my mom actually was like, hey, my car's in the garage and also has heated seats. I'm going to get myself breakfast from McDonald's. Do you want me to pick up Grayson? And I was like, yes. Yeah, that'd be great. So I didn't have to get in my unheated car who's, that's check engine light came on yesterday uh, and drive the like seven minutes to my parents' house and seven minutes back. So here's the beginning of my advent calendar. As you can see, these are empty. Um, basically what I did is this is the box for my David's Tea advent calendar from a few years ago. And then I had thrown out the little little drawers. So I've made this template and I've been building drawers. It's taking forever. And I made little numbers put on there. And then all the tea is in little bags like this um, from my own collection. So I'm very excited about it because these are all teas that I uh, either have been meaning to get to or really enjoy. So I think this is gonna be a really fun tea advent calendar. This is today. And what have we got? This is one of my chais. So I'm going to have a chai latte this morning, which sounds about right. So my chai is steeping. I pour the steamed milk into the, in with the leaves. Uh, so that's why it kind of looks weird. And I am making eggnog pancakes because I am turning this day around. I noticed at lunchtime that my Christmas tree in our bedroom, the top lights are not working. So I'm going to go downstairs and get um, I'm gonna go downstairs and get the spare light bulbs and see if maybe there's a burnout light or something like that. I'm not sure. Because um, I really don't want to restring it because I literally just restrung this tree last year. Uh -huh. Didn't take very long. Verdict is I'm gonna have to restring it. Um, I went to start checking and noticed that the majority of the bulbs on the string are black on the inside so I'm guessing the string shorted out or something these are really old lights I just have a bunch of um, different strands of white lights I already had to throw one out one set of them out because all of the bulbs um, did the same thing so I guess I'm gonna go find another strand of lights and restring that tonight well, I'm done with work for the day. The last like 10 minutes I've just been building boxes um, for the advent calendar. I have quite a few left to do and it is a tedious process, but they're getting built and they're really cute. I started this book, which is not on my TBR at all. Um, it came yesterday. This was the winner of the National Book Award for Fiction this year and I ordered it because the author was just like his, his speech was adorable um, and I just found him very charming so I ordered this and it's interesting because um, it's set up like a screenplay so like the first few pages are like introducing the cast or whatever um, so it's very curious and um, I feel like it's gonna be like a really fast paced quick read and for some reason I was just like pulled to 
read this. Um, this is this is a stunning Europa edition. The U.S. edition of this um, is all right looking, and also it's hardcover, um, but it's hard to beat a paperback Europa edition with like the beautiful French flaps. Um, these are just so well published. Um, so yeah, this is what I'm currently reading. Well, today's a menace. I don't know if you can tell that, uh, the, the, the kitchen's a little, uh, smoky. Um, it smells like wood smoke because <laughs> we, <laughs> we cut the end of our tree off every year and we make it into an ornament. That right there is, a. Uh, <laughs> that's our tree and we forgot to take it out of the oven from when we uh, like baked it or whatever and then turn the oven on 400 degrees to make dinner and I was sitting up there with Justin and the baby and all of a sudden I was like oh no did we ever get that out of the oven and I came running downstairs and up in the oven and just smoke and the fire alarm went off, and yeah, good times. So it did not, never, it didn't catch fire. I got it out in time, but yeah, today is an actual menace. Those fire engines aren't for us, as far as I know. I don't think our fire alarms alert anybody. But yeah, that's a. Uh... Can we just, can it be tomorrow already? Can we just, can we just be done? It's making popping and crackling sounds. Whoops. Well, I am not going to restring the tree tonight. That can wait. Um, I think we're just going to hang out upstairs by the fire and the Christmas tree. Um, Justin's going to watch The Flash and I'm going to uh, talk about how stupid superhero shows are because they make no sense and he's going to laugh at me and I'm going to fold more of the advent calendar things so that I can get this done. So um, hopefully before I go to bed tonight this will all be sort it out and then I can just enjoy it. Oh my gosh, it's cold outside. Um, I just had to run Grayson out to my mom in her nice warm car and holy moly, um, it's like 25 degrees or something, which like, I feel like in my adult life, it's never been that cold in December in Tennessee, or at least not where I live in Tennessee. Um, so this is different. <laughs> um, this morning started off a little bit better. Um, I still went to bed way too late last night. And yeah, it's just, I gotta go to bed earlier so that I'm not tired. Whew. But my mother brought me McDonald's hot chocolate. Which I don't know if that's the best thing for me to have first thing in the morning, but I'm gonna drink some of it at least because um, it's warm and tasty. Uh, but I will go find out what is in my advent calendar. I can show you the finished product. It looks it looks so good. I shared it on Instagram because I'm just so proud. Um, and then I gotta figure out actual food. I also have to feed the cats who are sulking around being cats. <laughs> it's super cold. I just went outside for a few minutes because it's pretty out there, but oh my god. It's so cold. My cats are being hungry little devils. Um, I just covered myself up with a blanket. 
Whew. After I handed off the baby and um, played Animal Crossing for a little while, <sighs> it was very nice. Um, I'm like shivering. I'm sitting like directly in front of the fireplace right now, trying to warm up from the, like the 30 seconds that I was outside. This is where I've got my advent calendar hanging out. It looks so good. I made all the little individual boxes and the little numbers. Filled them all with tea. Let's check out what's in day two. I like closed my eyes to keep from seeing what was in each of these. So we have, ooh, Whispering Pines Golden Snail. This is good because I would like some warm, comforting black tea. So we are gonna make this now. This mug seems appropriate. While it didn't actually snow, there is frost on the ground. So I'm done with work and I'm just sort of chilling here playing Pokemon Go until I have to go pick up the baby. Um, I've been watching some other vlogs for people who are doing Vlogmas. Um, and like, it's just interesting because you have some people who are addressing like the pandemic and how it's affecting their lives and what measures they're taking to keep themselves and other people safe. And you have other people who just seem to think that like it doesn't exist. And like, I'm sure that they are taking some precautions, but like they're not talking about it. And I don't know if it's just me, but like when it's not addressed at all by somebody, it's hard for me to feel like they actually are considering the state of the world when they're making decisions and they're not just like doing what they normally do. Um, and maybe that's, you know, pessimistic of me, but it's just, I don't know. It's, it, it, there's something about it that just feels uncomfortable watching somebody kind of like talk like about their family getting together, or like people coming in from out of town for this and for that. And like, it just, I don't know, it, it rubs me the wrong way. So in case I don't talk about it enough, we never leave our house. <laughs> Besides like going to get groceries or like a target run, um, we hardly ever leave our house. Like tomorrow I have to go get my allergy shot and drop some money off at the bank, which I'll do through the drive through And then like we pick up the baby, but like we don't go anywhere or do anything. We both work fully from home, which we are so privileged and lucky to be able to do. Um, so, you know, I know there are people that have to like go to work and like that's a totally different thing, but like, yeah, um, we are doing everything we can to minimize our contact with other people just to keep our family safe, but also, you know, in the off chance that we do contract it, that we are not unknowing transmitters. So just just a reminder that um, be an advocate for safety um, if you have the platform and wear your mask. Don't get together unnecessarily and just let's let's all get through this together. There's there's an end in sight. There's a vaccine in development. I'm just hoping that next year we will be able to have a normal Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> Where you going, bud? You after kitty? Trying to get kitty? <laughs> take a minute to figure out. They're not perfectly weighted, perfectly balanced either. Because they're wobbling a little bit. Yeah. Which means it's going to act in a slightly unpredictable way sometimes. <laughs> Simon's mad because the baby's playing with the thing he thought was his toy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm up later than I wanted to be yet again. 
um, on the list of things I didn't do today, laundry, um, restring the top of the Christmas tree, but I did read some of Interior Chinatown. I am uh, 76 pages into this, so he reads really fast, because um, like I said, it's kind of like a screenplay. Um, it's interesting. It's very, like, meta, um, but I'm very intrigued, and, um, I think I've got, like, three or four more pages for the end of, like, this section, act, I don't, I don't remember how he's, I think it's acts, um, so I'm probably gonna read that before I go to, go to sleep, um, I've also read or listen to more of Song of Achilles. I am enjoying that quite a bit so far. Still not super far into that, but um, yeah, reading going very well this month, especially for it to just be the second. It's cold. Um, I need to put on a, a sweater or a sweatshirt or something. Hand it off the baby. The cats want to be fed. I need to put on actual clothes today instead of just being a gray lump. Um, let's see what tea we have. I'll feed you. I'm gonna get tea moving first. Well, depending on what it is, because there are some herbal teas in here. So, this is day three, if it will focus. And day three is, oh, okay, it is a black tea. Well, no what, there we go. Tea runners, black tea. So, I don't think I've had this one yet, so this will be a first for me. Well, I was, I took my camera with me and I was like, all intentions were to be like, hey, a different place than inside of my house all day. Um, Cause I had to go get my allergy shot and go to the bank. And I took my camera and then I just forgot. So Vlogmas is gonna be super uninteresting this year. It's just gonna be the inside of my house. No train trip, no shopping, no, Oh, there's, I don't even know what I did in past years for Vlogmas, um, but, uh, yeah, so I try to go to the bank, and apparently, even though they have, like, a six-lane drive through the entire drive through is closed, and you have to go in the bank, like, that makes no sense whatsoever, um, so, yeah, and then I try to deposit my money at the ATM, because apparently you can do that, but my debit card is expired because I never use it. And so I have to locate the not expired debit card somewhere on the mess of my desk downstairs so that I can deposit the freaking money for my laptop that I already ordered. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> it's just, it's just chaos. It's chaos. It's, it's chaos. Um, I have a meeting in like 12 minutes, so... Just checking in to say, you're just going to see my house, basically. <laughs> Done with work. Still never put on really all that presentable clothing. Um, now I'm going to go get a little Babo. I did like a page of reading in this today. Um, I am 50 pages into A Song of Achilles, and I am really liking that. Did I just say Achilles really weird? I feel like I did. Anyways, I'm really liking this, so I'm gonna go pick up Lil Babo and um, listen to some more of this. You two like each other suddenly. <laughs> Well, I 
didn't whew, vlog anymore last night. And also, I had to go, like I dropped, I had to take the baby this morning because it wasn't 20 degrees. So I took him and then I went to get him out of the car and realized that I had left his backpack with his bottles and all of his stuff <laughs> sitting in the hallway at home. So I had to drive back home. I woke Justin up to make him come out and bring me the backpack so I didn't have to get out of the car. By that point it was already raining. I had to bring it back. And then I had to drive. It's just <sighs> bright side. I got to listen to more of my audiobook than I normally would. Um, which I'm really, really enjoying. Cats are, I'm sure you can hear that. But yeah, so it's been a, it's been a morning. Um, let's see what our tea is. So, door number four. And it looks like it's so. Ooh, yes. Uh, I don't know if you can see that. There we go. Yes. This is the the really expensive one that yeah that I drink with my guy Juan. This is the kind of morning I need. Well. The Amigo cards are here. I'm so excited. I got two from each series. I like super lucked out because I think like the next day these were completely sold out. Um, but yeah, these are so fun. Um, if you're not aware of what these are. So it's for Animal Crossing New Horizons, which is the Switch Animal Crossing. These are like packs of trading cards. So they're, like they're collectible on the fact that they're trading cards. But what makes them extra cool is that the villagers in these packs can then be scanned into your village. Yeah, I know, I just hit myself in the face. Um, can be scanned into your village and like you can play with them in the game. So I have a list of who I hope to get in each pack. Um, and I may get none of them, but I don't even care because I'm just super excited. <sighs> So these are the ones I got in the first pack. This little bunny's adorable. I like her. Um, take or leave the rest of them. He's not bad. This one's not bad. Don't care for this. This asshole. <laughs> Literally, this was my first campsite villager um, when I made my island. And so you have to take the first one. And he would not leave my island for like six months. And I hated him. I hate him. He's like the worst. Of course he'd be in the first pack I opened. <laughs> yes, eggnog is Christmas milk. It's not milk. Uh, no. no. <laughs> Stop milk, you <laughs> lose. It's after it's been run through someone's nose. <laughs> it's, it's special Christmas milk. It's not milk. <laughs> <laughs> Here I am. In bed. Too late. Again. Um, game night was fun. Chaotic, but fun. <sighs> I'm just hoping the baby doesn't wake up at 5 o'clock in the morning again.